How do we make a local WordPress or WooCommerce development using Docker and Docker Compose? Okay. I'm going to use uh, Visual Studio Code here. So this is the guide I created. First, we need to install Docker IO and Docker Compose. But in this case, I have already installed it. But let's try. Okay, it's already installed. So next step, I'm going to create a new folder for my project. Okay, so I'm going to create a new folder here. And this will be so fast try embed WP. Alright. Okay. And then I'm going to create a new Docker Compose YML file that this contains the database service using MariaDB 10.4 and then for WordPress. So I'm using the Compose YML here. Okay. So this one I have the database which is using MariaDB 10.4 and then it will store the, the MariaDB database here in this folder. It will create a new folder data slash MySQL and then uh, I can connect using the port 18.7.6.6 and then there will be uh, some environment variables that we have to set and the second container is WordPress itself uh, we'll be using the latest WordPress version this depends on the DB service here and then it will be accessible using port 80 and then I will be setting a few environment variables so it can access this database here and then it will store the files the primary wordpress files are stored in the host wordpress folder and then the plugins where we will be creating the plugin will be stored here in plugins okay and then we can uh, start this uh, docker compose using docker compose app and there so right okay so it's here and now i'm gonna try accessing this new uh, wordpress okay localhost okay now i can set up this new uh, WordPress development using Docker. Right. Uh, I do not need source engine visibility here. Now I install it. So it will be installing. Okay, success. And now I can log in. Okay, so this is my new WordPress. And then you can visit it. So this is the new. Okay. So now how do I create a plugin? So it should be here. So to create a plugin, uh, we can just create a new plugin inside the plugins folder. So this is a simple one that does nothing. So if you can see here, after we run the Docker Compose, there are three folders, data, plugins, and WordPress. So this is for the MariaDB, and this is for the WordPress, and this one is for the plugins. So I'm going to create a new hello WordPress dash. Okay, this is permission denied. So that means I have to make it uh, the permission to everyone. Okay, let's see. Uh, what this plugin say? Folder. 
think I don't have to use sudo here, right? Oh, no, I still have to use sudo here. Right. So now I think I can create it. Hello, WordPress. All right. So this is because if you see here that the permission of uh, the plugins folder is root because it is uh, created by uh, docker and it's somehow mapped to root alright then I create hello wordpress php here oh I should have used dash here to make it consistent alright and then the template here Try if it's showing. Yay! And now I have this Hello WordPress activate and it's activated, although it doesn't do anything. So that is how you create a local WordPress development using Docker and Docker Compose. And after you are finished, uh, you can just Control C on this terminal and then it's gone so this wordpress is not live but if you want to make it live again you can just uh, run docker compose up again and yeah it will be live again in a few seconds hopefully all right so that's it. Thank you and I hope this is useful.